Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Practical Reefer. My name's Mark. This is week four of my budget nano reef tank build. So every week I'm going to show you step by step how to set up and maintain a reef tank for a whole year for just £500, or at least that's the, the goal. Um, <clears throat> this week we're going to be doing the, the, the background of the tank, we're going to be spray painting that black. So I've just got a very basic, uh, it's called Plastico um, Super Gloss, it's a black spray paint, it's about £5 off of Amazon, that's how um, I've got that. So i um, done that last night and the, the night before. I'll go back and I'll, I'll show you a quick update on the, the cycling of my rock. I was getting a little bit impatient there, but I'll, I'll go back to a quick video last night. Um, I've had a bit of a busy weekend, I've been doing helping family with some stuff. And, um, but I did a little test on the nitrate last night and I got a reading, so I'm quite happy with that. I'll show you that just now and then we'll come back to spray, tape, spray painting the back of the tank. Just a wee bit of excitement on my part, I've been uh, 10 days into the cycle now, my rock's just in the tub and it's just cycling away. The ammonia I've been testing and I've had you know 1, 1 1.5 or hovering about there, it's been a wee bit darker, a wee bit lighter, it's somewhere about 1.5 milligrams per litre. Um, I've never had a real nitrite reading, maybe I've been doing something wrong but I've been following the instructions and um, it's been reading zero. So there was never really any great spike and it kind of had me doubting, you know, is it doing what it needs to do? But then the ammonia was never creeping up and I've been adding ammonia. So I had a bit of confidence there. So, but today I'm getting a little bit frustrated slightly, you know, I'm being patient, I'm planning to cycle the shop for weeks anyway, but just wanted to see something happening. So I decided to test the nitrate and bang, like as soon as a bit in the reagents and stuff, I got a good bit of purple. That's not how I should be reading that, I should be looking top down. But there's definitely a reading there. Um, it, it, pre it is pretty low when you look top down. But I'm really, really happy that we've uh, <laughs> we've got some some nitrates, and the cycle is definitely happening. But uh, we'll carry on and uh, we'll get on with painting the back of the tank. Also, guys, a massive thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I've near enough doubled my number of subscribers since uh, since the weekend there, and a massive thank you. The reason for that is uh, Ross at Bearded Reef gave me a mention in one of his videos. Um, helping me along my way, so thank you very much for that, man. Um, brilliant, brilliant news. Um, I was a bit busy at the weekend and I was getting lots of notifications. I hadn't had a chance to check out your video and I wondered where all these people were coming from, but uh, it was thanks to you. So thanks very much, Ross. And uh, it's, it's good to anyone else that, that anyone that's on my channel that hasn't seen his channel, check out Bearded Reef. I'll pop a link below. But um, he's a good lad, he's making really good quality content, and um, something that I'm kind of aspiring to a little bit. With, Trying to add in some graphics in my video edit, and it's something I'm trying to learn along the way. So, um, give Ross a check out as well, guys. <laughs> so, everyone, here's the, the tank. This is actually the, the bottom of the tank. I've got it, uh, I'm going to be painting the, the back, which is the, the glass facing upward here. Um, so, I'm going to give it a quick clean with the uh, window and glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth, um, and just make sure there's, um, and then give it a wipe down after again just to make sure there's no particles and things on it. I'll do that just now um, and then I'll start looking to tape it off and get some newspaper to protect around it. Um, I'm going to be doing this house, it's a bit windy and stuff at the moment and uh, I don't really fancy having to carry it out to my garage um, now it's out of the protective box so that's maybe something to think about. Um, but I'll get this started and uh, we'll crack on. So guys, um, now I've got that all clean, slight change of scene, I've got the, the tank down on a piece of wood on the floor, I've um, got an old curtain on the floor as well, um, I've got a section of twin wall polycarbonate there that's got a protective coating on it so I can use that to just protect my wall on the corner and I've got the, the box the tank came in and a bit of wood just so just so when I'm spraying it I'm not uh, getting uh, spray paint everywhere. So I'm going to get the, uh, the frog tape and the masking tape. Um, and some old newspaper out just to protect the, the other surfaces of the tank that I don't want to be uh, painted with black paint and I'll get that uh, protected just now and masked and then we'll crack on with painting it. So that's the, the tank mask up there. I've used some uh, frog tape that I had and some old newspaper just to, to protect the glass. I'm going to be using Plastacoat um, Super Gloss. It's a black spray paint. It's about five or six pounds on Amazon, so should do the job. Um, it's a permanent solution, but I'm quite happy with it. Um, the back of the tanks, I'm not going to be using it as a peninsula or anything like that. Some people do use um, Plasti Dip, which is more like a, a sort of rubberized coating which can be peeled off, but I'm going to be going with this, it's uh, quite a nice easy option. There we 
go guys um looks pretty decent with a just a couple of applications there i'll leave that an hour and i will come back so guys an hour or so later i'm um, going for coat two now so um i've already shaken the, the can and i'm just going to give it another go that's coat number two on uh, a bit more liberal this time i feel like I've a bit of a heavier coating so maybe give that an hour or two to dry and then i'll i'll come back and we'll, we'll put a last coat on that it goes for uh, coat three i'm hoping that'll probably be the final coat it looks uh, like it's doing quite well although i did shine a torch from underneath and you can see some uh, thinner patches but it's still looking at it from here it, it does look fully black but i'll go again with number three and then i'll, uh, I'll probably Probably let it dry overnight and take everything off and then uh, we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. So the the morning after I've left it to dry, um, it literally looks like glass, it's, it's nice and reflective. A couple of little imperfections, there's maybe some bits of dust got on it, but, but yeah, it looks great. Um, nice and smooth, I'm really happy with that. I'll get the tape off now and that'll be the the big challenge to make sure nothing's bled anywhere and I've not got any spray paint on anything else but let's have a look so really really happy with the result there um, I am going to take a kitchen scourer and um, see a little bit of black on it on there already and um, just around the beveled edge of the, the glass is just the paints crept a little bit or uh, it's where it meets the tape so some bits it's bled just ever so slightly but it's like a one mil edge um, so I'm just going to take that round now and I'll show you that so all done just cleaned up the corners it was more just uh, maybe where the tape had actually left a bit of paint or it was just a, a slight overhead but honest, I'll never ever see it um, it's right at the back but just thought I'd give it a wee clean up so guys there it is um really really happy with it it looks great when you look at the other side obviously when you spray paint the glass from the other side it gives the the perfect finish on the side you're looking at it still doesn't quite do it justice it just looks absolutely perfect from the side obviously the edges have got a couple of wee nicks in them and stuff but i will never ever see those um first time i've ever spray painted anything as well so as you can see i'll go in and when the camera focuses there looking on the reflection obviously you're just seeing the the room room behind the glass or sorry the room in front of the glass um, and the bits and pieces on my desk there on that back panel so looking good i um, really really happy with it do ignore the bit of silicon there that came from uh, all pond solutions and give that a little scrape off but um, i wouldn't have seen that otherwise or a bit of struggle to see it but yeah really really happy um, filming it doesn't quite do it justice um, i'll pop a filter on now just to let you see as well so guys, here it is with the filter on it now. Um, I've got a light on as well, so you might catch some other bits of glare, but I just thought I'd uh, give you another view of it just to make sure you're seeing it properly. But it does, it looks absolutely great. I'm very, very happy with it. And as you can see, so the filter does come down a good chunk. Obviously you've got the down point pipes in the tank, but you know, that means I can't see that. So um, when I have the, the hood on it, um, that lip, you're barely gonna see the hanging back filter at all. Um, you just see a bit of the downpipe, um, which should be hidden by the rockwork as well. But very, very happy with how that's gone. I mean, that, that tin of spray paint was a, a fiver off Amazon. So it takes a bit of work, a bit of doing. Obviously, it's not the not the easiest way to do it. Um, obviously, it does it does take a bit of effort on your part, but it can be done a bit, bit cheaper if that's how you want to do it. So, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was nothing groundbreaking this week. Um, I'm sure there's many people out there that can tell me a lot more tips about spray paint and I literally just followed the instructions on the can so you're not going to learn any tricks of the trade from me but it was just to show you what I've done with my tank this week um, it's as simple as that it's just following the tank that I want to build for my own, my own personal benefit um, and obviously a little update on my rock that's cycling away there so that's cycling away in the background while I can do these other things and get the tank set up and, and it is about patience I'm not in a massive rush to, to get fish in here because I, I just take my time and do it right um, but again follow me next week and uh, or join me next week and I'll be covering the, the filtration flow and heating of the tank um, and there's quite a few things in there I'm there's going to be a lot of redundancy and um, basically ways that you know there's a lot of things I've seen on like BRS TV where people are worried about things failing and things like that so I'll be covering a lot of topics on how we're going to avoid that and things like that so um, give me a little like and subscribe below guys and uh, I'll see you all next week